<laughs> All right. So let me start this off by saying that I have tried to do this um, channel for a very long time now. Um, my hair's kind of getting annoying right now. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, I have been trying to do this channel for a very long time now, and I didn't really know what I wanted to do um, because I thought I'm... I'm good at a lot of different things. Um, I am a good makeup artist, for example, and I tried to do this uh, by doing makeup. Um, and that really didn't work out for me just because I didn't have the drive to do it that often. Um, I have tried to do this here recently about mainly about um, getting in shape and like me doing... Um, me eating right um, and like proper fitness techniques and you know all of those things are fine like I see a lot of people do fitness and but they're the problem with that is is that they're I feel like they're subjected to one category and they can't really branch out of that so like if you do makeup you're only subjected to makeup and that's not necessarily true but it kind of is like your followers only go to you for makeup um, or your follows, followers only go to you for fitness and or I mean spiritual aspect your followers only go to you for tarot card readings or spiritual aspects or spiritual advice and ener energy updates so I kind of wanted to make this um, or I mean even Furthermore, people only go to you for comedic value. You know what I mean? So I kind of wanted to make this about more along the things that I'm good at and the things that I can help you be good at as well. Um, or you maybe some tips and tricks as to how to do life in general. Um, so my why kind of stems from that because you come into this earth you're born here and you don't know how to do life like a lot of people try to teach you um like you have your parents or maybe you don't have your parents and maybe you were born in foster home but like a lot of the things you have to learn on yourself like by yourself on yourself by yourself um, whether you have good guidance or or bad guidance or I mean I was just talking to one of my friends about this is that if you have really good parents um, a lot of the times you can get reliant on that and you don't necessarily have a voice of your own or you do things um, not with you do a lot of the things that you do solely to please them or to please society and um, of course your parents are a part of society um, but a lot of the time is like let's say you don't have parents who um, you don't really connect with for example then you learn at a very early age how to handle your own and how to, how to learn on your own and so I wanted to base this channel off of me growing as a person and spiritually, emotionally, um, physically. And I want to teach you guys, I'm looking down at my notes, <laughs> and I want to teach you guys um, while simultaneously learning myself how to uh, become a better person, um, not just makeup wise, not just <laughs> losing the weight um, that you need to lose, not just um, spiritually, but in all areas of life. I want to be able to teach you guys what I've learned as well as continue to grow. And um, paired along with that, uh, I want to kind of go off on a little bit of a tangent um, because this relates to my why. Um, so whenever I think about my why and I think about um, why like I do the things that I do and um, I'm kind of taken back to my spiritual awakening and 
So if you don't know what a spiritual awakening is, um, I kind of equate that to like walking in faith. Um, branching away from what you've been taught in the past um, which is like maybe what your parents have taught you, what you, what society has taught you and figuring out on your own, learning from the guidance that you have, um, and walking in faith that everything's going to be okay. Um, so I had my spiritual awakening in 2015 and what that did for me is that I was able to learn, <laughs> first of all, I had the realization that I don't have to live my life dependent upon anybody else's wants and needs. Um, and I think that's the first thing to a spiritual awakening or um, is understanding, is the underlying understanding that you don't have to live your life for anybody else. You don't have to please anybody else. This life isn't here for for the pleasure of other people or else it would be called Sydney's life. <laughs> and which that Sydney has her own life, um but this is all about you and your goals and what you really want to do. Um for example, whenever I in 2015 I had just graduated college and I was on the path of, I had gone to college for biology um, because I wanted to be a dentist. I thought I wanted to be a dentist. Um, and in 2015, as soon as I graduated college, I realized that the reason why I wanted to be a dentist wasn't for my own highest good or wasn't for the path that I wanted to pursue. It was essentially for my parents. Um, my mom heavily wanted me to be a dentist because of the money aspect, because of all of the things that came along with that. And I had said one time in my past that I considered wanting to be a dentist and it just kind of stuck in her mind and she just kind of pushed that upon me. Hindsight's twenty twenty. nothing bad against my mother. She just wants the best for my life, but I realized that that's not <laughs> what I wanted for my life. Um, that's not what would make me the happiest. And so I had to really come to terms with, okay, is this something that I really want? Because with going to dental school, for example, that's four years of your life it, longer that you are going to be pursuing down that path. Um, that's a long time. That's a, you're essentially becoming a doctor. Um, you are, I mean, not essentially, you are becoming a doctor. And so that was something that I had to come to terms with because four years is a long time to be in a profession. Did I really want to go down that pathway? And why was I doing that for? I couldn't convince myself why I wanted to do that. So what makes me think there's a whole long interview process that goes along with um, dental school. There's um, the interview process. There's the DAT that you have to take. It's you're becoming a doctor. Um, so I really had to come to terms with why I was doing this. Was it solely for the money? And is that what I wanted for my life? I had to come to terms with that. And once I did, I was like, I don't <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to live that life. And it's not because I can't to live that life. I can become anything that I want to become. I can do anything that I want to do. And essentially, that's what that spiritual awakening um, did for me. It allowed me to really take a look at why I was doing the things that I was doing. Why was I going through this extensive process of studying um, for this DAT? Why was I um, going through all the courses and shadowing and all that if I was only doing it for the money? Should a career only be for the money? That's just existing. And so, which is going on to my other point is that 
Um, I had watched a video and Steve Harvey has an entire book about this uh, video that he put out. He was talking to the audience on Family Feud and he was saying that all successful people eventually have to jump. Um, and what he means by that, and like I said, he's got an entire book about this. I haven't read it, but I probably will eventually. But um, essentially what he's talking about is all successful people have to have that there's a moment. And for me, it's been several moments. <laughs> um, and it probably will be several moments until I get used to the feeling of falling. Anyways, but... He talks about a moment where you have a decision to make. You can either live the life that you've always been living, which is just existing, and, or you can go ahead and jump. You can take the gifts that, that God has given you, or if you don't believe in God, whatever. Um, you can take your gifts that you have and you can decide to go pursue them. Um, pursue whatever it is that makes you happy and live the life that you've always wanted to live. You have that choice. You can either exist or you can use your gifts. Um, but along co what comes along with that, with jumping, is um, is that falling period <laughs> is the first time that you jump essentially you jump off the cliff he uses the cliff analogy um, the first time that you jump off that cliff you are going to fall down and you are going to fall pretty hard it's not your parachute isn't going to open right away you might get some bumps some bruises you might get cut up um, but it's eventually, he talks about eventually the parachute has to open. Um, so in 2015, whenever I decided, whenever I had that spiritual awakening, whenever I had that um, acknowledgement of, okay, this, I right now what I'm doing is I'm just going with the flow. I'm just existing. Um, I need to figure out a way, I need to find a way to do the things that I want to do. And this dentistry is not it. Um, whenever I took that, um, it was the start of my journey. <laughs> a very, very rough journey um, that has led me up five, five years later. Um, I'm more happy than how I've than what I've ever been in my entire life. Um, and I can honestly say, oh yeah, it has not been sunshine and rainbows <laughs> for me. I have gone through some shit, some terrible shit um, that I wouldn't wish upon anybody else. Um, but it has gotten me to this point and I'm forever grateful, forever thankful. And you guys are going to be able to see me as I continue to grow to get whatever it is that I want. <laughs> and this channel is going to help me to get whatever it is that I want as well as um, allow me to grow into the person that I'm meant to be. As well as to help you guys so that you can grow to be the people that you want to be. Okay, um, and it's not going to be easy. <laughs> it's not going to be easy at all. Um, I've even just starting up this channel how I want to. I've had so many roadblocks, so many roadblocks, but it's all a part of the plan. It's all a part of the plan. And um, I will eventually explain to you how I'm able to do the things that I want to do. Um, so there's something that I have to explain to you previous to this, and I will eventually um, explain everything. Um, but like I said, this hasn't been easy for me to get up to this point. 
I've had since 2015 I have gone through homelessness I have gone through a narcissistic karmic relationship um, that was very tar toxic 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 um, <laughs> I have gone through that uh, several revelations uh, where I've had to go against the social norms. Um, I've had to figure out who the fuck I am and learn that as my baseline so I can move forward. I've had to pick myself up numerous times. Um, but with that all comes getting my ultimate fulfillment and getting what it is that I want. I have always gotten what I want and I have always manifested into my reality whatever it was that I wanted. Um, so I'll give you an example. I mean this has just been over my lifetime. This hasn't been uh, in 2000. 15 specifically this was actually before 2015 um, I've always manifested whatever it was that I wanted in my life um, and I want to be able to show you guys and tell you guys how to manifest the things that you want into your life but you're going to have to take that leap of faith um, you're gonna have to walk in faith point blank period um, believe that you can have it and know that you deserve it whatever it is that you want because you do deserve it um, so like I was saying I can give you an example as to um, a point in my life where I've gotten what I've wanted and more um, in high school I was a cheerleader and um, we weren't very good as a team. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you, point blank, period. We weren't very good as a team, um, as far as competition-wise goes. I told myself, I want to get a national championship ring. That's what I want to do, point blank, period. I'm going to do whatever it is. <laughs> Not whatever, but... Um, I'm going to do what it takes in order to get a national championship ring. I told myself that my senior year of high school, bing, bang, boom. So that year, 2011, um, I was looking at colleges and I happened to stumble across Oklahoma City University. And just so happened that the old coach from OU, Oklahoma, Un University of Oklahoma, um, just recently uh, went to OCU within, I think it was the either the year before or the year before that. So maybe like 2010, 2008. So everything just kind of followed and followed, <laughs> fall, everything just kind of fell in line um, because my mom had gone to Oklahoma City University. And so... She was like, have you thought about it? And I was like, no. So I applied for the scholarship. I got the scholarship that I wanted. I basically got a full ride. Um, along with the, I, um, I went to the cheer tryouts or whatever. They loved me. The coach loved me. Um, and we kind of went from there. And it was a perfect match. And everything worked out perfectly. Um, and... Fast forward, I ended up, not only did I get one national championship, but I got four. <laughs> I got four rings. I got four national championship titles. And so all of that to basically say that if you want something bad enough, um, you have to take that leap of faith in order to get whatever it is that you want. You got to believe and you got to know that you can have it. Um, if, it would have been a completely different story if I would have been like, mm, I can't have that, so I shouldn't just even try. And which is what a lot of people do. So they end up going and they don't end up even trying. You don't even know until you try. And even then, you're going to fail. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. Once you take that leap of faith, you are going to fail. And sometimes you're going to fail really fucking hard. Um, but the thing about it is, if you want something bad enough, you've got to 
continuously work at it. Um, there are a lot of things that I want to do with this channel and with my life. And so a part of my why is being able to travel, being able to do the things that I want to do, um, being able to uh, take my ideas that I have and put them out into reality. Um, and I want to show you guys how you can do that too, okay? Um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is my introduction to my channel. My name is uh, Kaya Will, and because I will do anything that I put my mind to, and you guys can too. So uh, signing off, have a good one. Love you guys.